Hi, it's Mr. Sorbo again, and I'm here today to talk to you about CTE Academies and what they are. So first, let me just briefly explain what a CTE Academy is. So in Harding County Schools, academies are a way to enhance and provide learning experiences for students to pursue careers that they are passionate about, okay? For the most part, um, academies are not requiring you to like go off campus. Um, there are some um, opportunities through the community college that at some point you might have to go to, but um, it doesn't mean you're changing high schools, okay? Um, the, there's only one that possibly would m mean that you would not change high schools, but that you would take um, some classes at a different school. But for the most part, um, with the academies, you stay here, you take classes um, with us. Um, also, for three of the four of these academies that I'm getting ready to mention, there is a component with Central Carolina Community College through the College Promise Program. So, um, first I want to tell you how to find um, information on the CT Academies. And so, I'm on the Western Hornet webpage. If you go to the menu button, and you're going to scroll down here to Student Services, and right here is CTE Academies. So this is one of my pages, and it tells about career development, career exploration, what is CTE, and then what are CTE academies. So the academies are listed here. The first one listed is Harnett Health Sciences Academy. Okay, that actually is one that I am the coordinator for, and that is for either, um, that's for students who are either um, current, freshmen, and sophomores can actually apply. There's an application for this academy. Um, if you contact me, I can get you the application. Um, but that is for students who are interested in healthcare careers. So again, that's for freshmen and sophomores, okay? And there is a component with this academy um, because it is um, a collaborative effort with Central Carolina Community College, okay? So next, we have the Public Safety Academy, and um, that includes firefighting, law and justice, and EMT. So firefighting we have here at Western. Um, the requirement for that course is that you must be turning 16 to be able to be in that course. Um, so if you're interested in firefighting, definitely let me know and we can sign up for that at registration. Um, for EMT, that is also based here at Western. See, we're in a really good spot. <laughs> we have both of those academies here. Um, EMT is for seniors. Um, or rising seniors, they can sign up for that um, during registration. And that is, um, so EMT is emergency medical technician, and they are um, the people that ride in the ambulance with the paramedics and help save people's lives. So um, that is a year-long course. So if you sign up for EMT, you are committing to year-long first and second semester. And um, at the end, if you have successful completion of the course, you can sit for the state exam, and you have to be um, 18 to do that. So that's why we make that a senior requirement. And then there's law and justice. Now, law and justice is housed at Harnett Central High School. That is the only one that you would have to possibly travel to a different high school for. Um, now, that would not mean that you would be a full-time Harnett Central student. That would just mean you could go there and take the law and justice classes, okay? Like you could take two with us and then go there and take that with them. Um, so that is for students who are desiring to pursue a career in law enforcement. So if you're interested in law enforcement, you think that you can get to Harnett Central um, for part of a day, um, every day in a semester, then we can look at the um, Law and Justice Academy for you, okay? Um, next, we have the Harnett Agri Agriculture Academy. Um, that was started at Triton this year, and it will be starting at Western next year. Um, Miss Hardy, a representative from Central Services CTE, came and spoke to all the ag classes about that yesterday, but I wanted to put this information out here for anyone that maybe had an ag class last semester and wasn't in one this semester or is interested in signing up for one in the future. So that academy, the Agriculture Academy, is for students interested in pursuing a career in either horticulture, animal science, ag mechanics, or agribusiness. So this is for current sophomores and juniors, so rising juniors, rising seniors, um, who have completed at least a level two course in either of our ag classes, at animal science, ag mechanics, or horticulture. And... Um, that's one of the requirements. There is a piece um, to this academy that is included with Central Carolina Community College. Um, they're working on some online classes for next year and then possibly some on-site classes for the year after that. 
Um, so also you need to be a member of FFA and have a relevant SAE project. So um, if you're interested in any of that, um, please let me know. Last but not least, um, this is actually hot off the press, newly mentioned, the Harnett Teacher Academy. This is for current sophomores who are interested in a career in an early childhood. So if you've had child development or if you're planning on taking child development next year, if you're interested in a career as either an early childhood lead teacher, for example, at a daycare or being an assistant teacher or even becoming a certified teacher, you know, at a four-year college, then this might be an academy for you. So those are our four current academies. Um, there is an application process for these. I am going to link the application here. And also if you email me or put in to see me on the, um, on my form, I will call you down and get you the academy information. So I'll also be around at registration. Um, so you can talk with me then, or like I said, you can sign up to see me and I'll be glad to talk with you about all these academies. Okay. I look forward to, um, talking with you soon. Also, if you're interested in the Harnett Health Science Academy, there's a video linked here that I made, and I'm also going to post it in the freshman and sophomore Google Classroom so that y'all can take a look at that. Okay. Um, let me know how I can help you. Um, and I will talk with you later. Bye.